Dear friends, we shall continue, continue to deliberate on the book of Acts. The, the Sabbath in the book of Acts. That's the Sabbath in the New Testament. And the first one we find here in the book of Acts is, uh, on, um, I'm just giving you this, this, this text again that you may pray to God for the truth to be revealed and your conscience to be stirred and to obey God rather than man. Acts 13 verse 14. And when they had fasted, um, and when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. So they went, being sent forth by the Holy Ghost, departed unto Seleucia, and from thence they sailed to Cyprus. Let's continue. That's Acts chapter 13. We're reading from verse 3, but we're going to verse 14. Um, verse 13 to 14. Uh, now when Paul and his company loosed, from from Paphos, they came to Perga in Pamphylia, and John departing from them returned to Jerusalem. And when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch, Pisidia, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and sat down. So right there we find that um, the Sabbath, the, the apostles kept the Sabbath even after the re death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We go to Acts chapter 13, verse 27, and we find reference again to the Sabbath. It says, um, Men and brethren, reading from verse 26, Children of the stock of Abraham, and who serve among you, feared God. To you is the word of this salvation sent. To you is the word of this salvation sent. For they that dwell at Jerusalem and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voice of the prophets, which were read every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled them in condemning him. Verse 30, But God raised him from the dead. Hallelujah. God raised him from the dead. Let's go to verse 42. And when the Jews were gone out, when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. So we see from Sabbath to Sabbath, the people were teaching and preaching the apostles, including Paul, right? Now let's go to verse 43. That's Acts 13. Now when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. Verse 44. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. It was on the Sabbath, friends. The Sabbath, the only Sabbath, the seventh day Sabbath. There was nothing about Sunday being around until the um, pagan Rome and the Constantine pretended to be converted to Christianity and brought and became pagan, pagan Rome became papal Rome and bringing their pagan um, festivals into the Church of God and with the guise of Satan, of course, right? And that is to provide confusion to keep men out of such a great salvation. We continue. Um, with, with the Sabbath in the book of Acts. Let's go to Acts chapter 15, verse 21. Acts chapter 15, verse 21. We're just giving you this text that you may know for yourself. Um, for Moses of all times, for Moses of all times, hath in every city them that preach him being read in the synagogue every Sabbath day. Every Sabbath day we find it there for. <laughs> so here we find it again the reference to God's holy Sabbath day that they, these people tell you no longer abide Acts chapter 16 verse 13 we're talking about the Sabbath in the book of Acts Acts chapter 16 and verse 13 hear what it says it says and on the Sabbath we went out of the city by a riverside where prayer was wont to be made and we sat down and spake unto the women which Resort thither. You see? So therefore, we find that over and over, they hallowed the Sabbath. They kept the Sabbath. They did not do their own thing on the Sabbath day. Acts chapter 17 and verse 2, it says, And Paul, as his manner was, have mercy. Listen to this. Acts chapter 17 and verse 2. And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them, and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the Scriptures. Three Sabbath days. 
Paul, as his manner was, honored God's Sabbath, not Sunday. There was no, you can't find a text in the Bible that presents any other day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, as the Sabbath, except the seventh day of the week. And if we want to know which day is the seventh day of the week, check the Jewish calendar, check the Jewish people. It has God preserved Israel and has preserved his Sabbath because it is this, the only commandment that that stipulates which God is give, who which is the God of the Ten Commandments. It is the fourth commandment which says, "For on the six days the Lord in six days the Lord created heaven and earth and all that is and rested on the Sabbath day, the seventh day. Therefore, God bless the Sabbath day and holiday. That have not changed, friend, and cannot be changed." Okay, that's why God gave you the Sabbath. Acts chapter 18 and verse 4. Acts 18 and verse 4. And I believe this is the last one we have in the book of Acts. It says, And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. That's Paul. For verse 18, Acts 18 verse 1 says, After these things Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth. Right? And it tells you about he found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Ponto, in Pontus, lately from Italy, with his wife Priscilla. All right. And then it says, and he was, and because he was of the same craft, he abode with them and wrought, for the, for by their occupation they were tent makers. So Paul, Priscilla, and Aquila were tent makers, and he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. So there you have it, friend. God Sabbath, God apostles, God disciples, all honor God Sabbath. There was not one inclination in the Bible that says the Sabbath was changed or were nailed to the cross. You cannot find it in the book. You are following Pope, Pagan, Pagan and Papal Rome. And all the Sunday day churches are daughters of the Catholic Church. But in Acts chapter 5 verse 29, Paul says, Peter says, we ought to obey God rather than man. And so therefore, the whole will of God. Jesus says, Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4, Luke 4 and verse 4, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God Almighty. Alright? So, that's it. And uh, so there is no confusion. Those who want to know the truth will know the truth and be, will be ready to accept the truth and do according to God will have them to do because God's Ten Commandments is under attack from day one by the devil all right and we cannot afford to lose out on our soul salvation um, <coughs> um, because these commandments were so precious to God he, he, he write them with his own fingers in Exodus chapter 31 and verse 18 uh, let's go to verse 16 where it says, Wherefore the children, verse 16, Exodus 31, 16 says, Six days shall thou may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest. Holy to the Lord. It does not say holy to the Jews or to the Adventists. It says holy to the Lord. Whosoever doeth work any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generation for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. That's the Bible. And he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of communion with him upon Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony, tables of stone, written with the finger of God. Cannot be changed, God, friend. God wants us to obey him and to keep his commandments, the whole will of God Almighty. If you are to be saved, you want to be obedient to God 100%. Better to be saved than sorry. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Not the Sabbath of the Adventists, not the Sabbath of the Jews. Friends, we ought to obey God rather than men.